بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان ا سیریز اف لیکچرز آن سیفٹی وتھ کیمیکلز آئی ایم یور پریزنٹر ڈاکٹر راجا ازادار حسین ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس کوروسیوز کوروسیوز آر دا کیمیکلز وچ ہیو ابلٹی ٹو کروڈ دا میٹیریلز دے کین بی کلاسیفائیڈ انٹو ایسڈز بیسز and halogens our discussion today will reside on acids basic definition of acids for chemists may be complicated but when we discuss safety of the acids acids are basically of two types inorganic acids and organic acids inorganic acids are the acids which lack the carbon backbone they are basically made up of inorganic compounds such as nitric acid phosphoric acid sulfuric acid perchloric acid and many more inorganic acids are non flammable in nature whereas organic acids are the acids which contain carbon in their backbone they are generally carboxylic acids such as formic acid acetic acid propionic acid isobutyric acid and many more these acids are combustible in nature now for the difference between the flammable and combustible materials kindly refer to my previous lectures on combustible and flammable materials no matter you are dealing with the inorganic acids or organic acids both of them are corrosives when they come in contact with your skin it is important to mention here that these these acids are being manufactured and used in the quantity of millions of tons per annum throughout the world so when you are using when you are creating such a huge quantity of acids then there are chances uh of accident during their manufacture during their transportation during their use and during uh, their storage no matter what type of acid you are using these both type of acids are corrosives to your skin the picture at the top is the reflection of a burn which is caused by the nitric acid and what acids can do the beautiful face has been portrayed in this picture before going in details of safety with acids it is important to note what acids are capable of number 1 acids can explode such as i for example picric acid is a high explosive perchloric acid can detonate acrylic acid and hydrogen cyanide can polymerize can self polymerize so polymerization reactions may be explosive in nature especially in case of emergency acids second d are oxidizers sulfuric acid which is king of the chemicals and nitric acid both of them have ability to oxidize the other chemicals acids thirdly can be water reactive as well for example sulfuric acid is water reactive chlorosulfonic acid is water reactive acids can be toxic as well especially when they come in contact with the chemicals such as hydrogen cyanide and their by product are very much toxic in nature so whenever we are dealing with the acids we should keep in mind all these characteristics of the acids they are mainly corrosive but they have other properties as well this burn is a nitric acid burn this is an other example of nitric acid burn the situation uh, with bases is not very much different as well this hand is a burn of solid sodium hydroxide whenever we discuss acids or bases two points are very much important in terms of safety 
Number one is the health hazard, and number two is the poten potential causes of fire. Chemicals, especially the corrosives, are the main source of chemical burns. Chemical burns are 10.7% of all the incidences of the burn throughout the world. And they compose 30% of all the deaths caused by the burns. In domestic use, 42% people are victim of chemical burns and industry, 34% uh, people are the victim of chemical burns. Especially in the industry, safety measures are imposed on the employees. Therefore, the ratio of accident uh, of chemical burns in industry is less as compared to domestic shoes. There is basically no difference in terms of gender uh, about the chemical burns on the part, different part of the parts of the bodies. You can see that more than 10% of the burns, uh, both in males and females, involve the head, hand, and right thigh. 5.1 to 10% uh, acid burn, uh, chemical burns involve the arms of the males and females and their legs. Zero to five percent uh, burns involve all parts of the body. This picture portrays one of the examples of cement burns. If we categorize the total type of burns, acid burns are 26 percent of all chemical burns. HF burns are 2%. Uh, cement burns are 26% of all alkali burns. And alkali burns are 55% of the total. Next are the petroleum burns. What I mean to say that chemicals, acids, or bases, especially acids, are the main reasons of chemical burns. And it is very painful. So be very careful when you are using the acids. Let's discuss one example of nitric acid burn. But before, before going in detail, I would like to show you that 2% of all the chemical burns in UK are caused by nitric acid. 88 cases per year in Germany are observed. Five second contact of nitric acid with the skin causes the superficial burns and 30 second contact causes the full thickness burns. Vapors of the nitric acid give all degree burn via respiration and ingestion causes the gastrointestinal burns. Let's now discuss this accident. In a secondary class, uh, five liter nitric acid fell down from the hand of the teacher and 24 person were injured. Uh, three cases of burn have been portrayed here. A is the superficial burn, B is the second degree shoulder burn, and C is the second degree to third degree leg burn. Now, this second degree burn took 22 days to reach from this situation to here. In fact, when nitric acid reacts with skin, it produces uh, nitration of aromatic ring of amino acid uh, in a xanthoprotein reaction, which causes coagulative tissue damage and yellow staining of the skin. Second, with the burn which I have shown into uh, you in the previous picture, took 26 days after mass graft plantation to reach from day one to day 26. What I want to explain is be very careful while dealing the acids. It is better to wait for two to three minutes rather than staying months on the bed in an hospital. Now, what is the safety measure when acid comes in contact with your skin? Keep it in your mind. Acid on the skin is a catastrophic. So if the acid is on your skin, use flooding amounts of gently flowing water to remove the acid. Do not put your hand in a closed container or beaker to neutralize the acid because it will create a dilute solution which will secondarily infect your skin, which will secondarily damage your skin. So use uh, flowing amounts of uh, flooding amounts of gently flowing water at least for 15 minutes so, so that the acid may be removed from your skin. Same is the scenario uh, for your eyes as well. Use 
uh, flooding amounts of gently flowing water, eye wash should be available in the labs in which you are using the assets. Labs which are using the assets, industry which is using the asset should have water arrangement for the emergency showers and to neutralize the asset in case of emergency. We will discuss the storage of the assets with in, in our uh, next lectures on with com incompatibility and compatibility of chemicals. This was all about, about the safety with assets and stay tuned for my next lectures on the corrosives as well. Till then, God bless you.